It's the final few seconds before the lights go out, and the race to the podium begins. You know this battle will be won off the track as well as on it. You've studied your tactics, anticipated every move like a grand master. You've researched and analyzed, modified and fine-tuned to perfection. You have honed your instincts to give you an edge over your rivals. Your drivers focused, your team ready. The championship in the balance. First past the checkered flag, the goal. Epic victory or ultimate failure. There is only a heartbeat between them. Motorsport manager, take control. That was badass. Hello ladies and gentlemen and as you can see we are today playing Motorsport Manager for the first time. I've never even launched the game before. Um, so I have literally no idea what I'm doing. Um, I'm basically going to give my way I'm finding the game essentially. Uh, so I think ultimately, I like the menu system already. Ultimately I think we're just going to jump into the new career. It just makes sense. Right, we're gonna keep keep the uh, tutorial on. I feel like for the first time I'm gonna play on short. Uh, playing pounds. Oh, we can't have the uh, proper date format. Oh, let's save on, that's fine. Mods, I won't bother with just yet. So, seems pretty simple. So, I'll go, go ahead and enter my details. So apparently you can check your backstory. So if we're just going to go through and have a little look at them. Ex-driver, as a respected former driver, your very presence gives drivers a boost to their improvement rates. As you speak the same language, it also helps with their feedback, which helps you find the best setups. So that's nice. Ex-engineer, with your background in engineering, you can help trim down the time it takes to design new parts for the car, which takes around eight days on average. And it's a minus one day. That's not too bad. Financial, your financial noose will help you make the best deals on every purchase you make. Payments minus 5%, so that's decent. Political, as a political insider, your arguments carry more weight within the Global Motorsport Association, enabling you to bend the sports rules in your favour and propose new t vote topics for free, which normally cost £1 million. Pound. Voting power plus 4 free season, vote proposals free of charge. Or unknown, no experience, no contracts, just you and your knowledge of motorsport. No bonuses. I feel like this is probably the best one. I'm going to go for this. And then I feel like, do we create a new team or do we choose a team? For the sake of the first time, I'm just going to choose a team. I suppose I have to download this anyway. So I'm just going to choose a team for now. Uh, we're going to do tier 1. Right, so tier 1's got the most everything, obviously. Tier 2's not so good and tier 3's crap. For the sake of knowing what I'm doing, hopefully, I'm going to go for this World Motorsport one. Um, as much as I like the menu system, they seem a little cluttered, like I'm not sure really what I should be looking at here, which is a problem. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is probably the best one to go for. Whoa, cool animations bro. Alright, so we're taking over a team. I don't know if these are supposed to be based on real teams or what. Um, I like Villan. Look at the colour. That is gorgeous. To be fair, the graphics are really nice. Villan racing. Oh, Panther's nice as well, to be fair. I'm not sure what these mean. Okay, so expected finish second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Okay. I feel like I don't want a high pressure job. I might just go for one that's low pressure. I'm going to go for Valan. Look at this, gorgeous. In fact, no, we're going to go for the Panther because I don't. This is a, like a first look video. I don't want to get myself into a really difficult career. I don't want it to be too difficult to learn the ropes. That's quite cool. So we're going to Qatar for the first race. Oh, 
both drivers can be retired in a race if the reliability is too low. Okay, that's a good tip to have. I feel like the graphics on this are much, much better than I thought they were going to be. Having played other SI games, Sports Interactive that is, um, they don't really focus so much on graphics, but I suppose this game they kind of have. Race, uh, oh, what are we doing? Race Sport Legend, Roger, a oh, fucking big Rog. Welcome to the race. This tutorial will teach you the most important principles of motorsport management. Sit tight, you'll be making high pressure pit stop pulls before you know it. So we've got Sharp and Shurikov. These are your two drivers. The aim of the game is to guide them to glory. The higher they finish in the race, more points you'll get. They get more points than anyone else, you'll win the championship. Makes sense. Let's take a look at where our drivers are on the grid. You can focus the camera on them by clicking on their portrait. Okay, hello Shurikov. Splendid. Now see where are the qualify air drivers qualified? And it just says down here, fifth. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, we started. Okay, <laughs> I believe you. Shurikov's, I'm going to guess these are medium tyres and they're a bit battered. Go on, then. Oh, this is badass. Oh, look at this. We've got a 1 3 so far. This is, this is amazing. What a dramatic start. Soon we'll start telling your driver what to do, but first take a minute to look around and enjoy the view. So you drag the left mouse button to rotate and scroll in and out with the mouse wheel. Okay. You can scroll quite far out. Oh, I love how the sound gets quieter the more you zoom out. That's really cool. Okay, let's start giving our drivers some orders. When dealing with driver strategy, there are three important things to remember. Tyres, fuel and intensity. Each car has its own set of tyres which wear down their drive away to wear around the track, as I thought. A fresh set of tyres 100% allows the car to go much faster than a set of worn tyres. 45% 40, is on 38! When tyres become very worn, their car goes much slower than its full potential. Okay, so... What's that? Softs? Saying... They go better at... I um, don't really know. Okay, the more a uh, driver is pushing, the harder the tyres get and the faster they'll deteriorate, which is this dial. Okay. Each car has its own fuel tank. The bottom number, 0.14, indicates how much fuel you'll have at the end of the race to carry on with your current strategy. If this number is negative, it means you're going to run out of fuel before the end of the race, so it's very important to keep an eye on this. The bar represents the amount of fuel you have. The centre of the bar means you'll have a half tank of fuel. The arrows show how quickly your driver is burning fuel. Move, more arrows mean you'll be burning fuel very quickly. Okay, makes sense. Where was that? Oh, it's at the bottom here. Okay. So now that we know about tyres and fuel, let's change the driver's intensity through the strategy panel. Click on the strategy to continue. Okay. This panel is where you can make quick strategic calls while the drivers are out on the racetrack. There are two areas, driving style and engine modes. Okay. Driving style impacts how quickly your tyres wear out. The panel allows you to change how bold and risky your driver is. The more intense the strategy, the more chance he or she will take to get in front. However, the more intense the strategy, the greater toll it takes on your tyres. Each choice shows how much of an impact it will have on your tyres, shown with arrows. Wearing through your tyres quickly means you'll make a pit stop sooner, so be careful not to push them too hard. Okay, so tell me instantly to put him on attack. Nice. Engine mode impacts your fuel burn rate. This panel allows you to decide how hard to push the car. Pushing harder allows the car to go faster, but also burns fuel quicker. As a driving style, the arrows indicate it. The more bars you see, the faster your fuel will burn. If you run out of fuel before the final lap, your race will be ruined. Well, yes. See, I'm looking at this and I'm questioning this as well. So I don't want to go on attack, really. It's like, why would I want to go on attack? It doesn't make much sense. Also, if I put this on high, look, we're only on a plus 0.02 thing. So we're going to burn through too much. With these buttons, you can set team orders. You can let drivers fight each other for position with the race button or prioritise one driver with the allowed teammate through button. If one of your drivers is holding up the other, team orders could be a solution. Okay, makes sense. You can do that in real life. Smashing your driver will now be pushing the car a little bit more around the track. The extra boost in speed should really help. Keep an eye on the tyre wear and fuel levels though. These will now drop a bit faster. Okay, so we're looking at Sharp. Go on, so go and take the second spot. Okay, so fuel's down to 0.01. Tyres getting up to temperature. 
Now that we've given some orders, tinkering with time will help us see the effect. First, we can play and pause and resume the race by clicking play pause. Pausing the race is a great way to give out orders without missing any on track action. Makes sense. So we'll click play. You can speed up time by pressing the fast forward button. Clicking on the button again will speed it up even more. Nice. Okay, so I guess we're speeding it up. Lovely jubbly, game's now running faster. You can also use spacebar to play, play pause, one, two, three. Nice. Hooray, you now possess the incredible power of time manipulation. Now sit back and watch the race unfold. Do I need to change anything? I guess we just speed it up then. This is cool. Go on, sharp. Go on, sharp. Oh, he's took it. Blimey, your driver's tyres are looking pretty worn out. Let's bring them in for a pit stop where we can change the tyres. Oh, pit's there. Let's go to the pit stop step by step. Jesus Christ. This is very in-depth. This is the driver panel, which shows you three important bits of information. Current race position, tyre wear, fuel levels. These will play into which pit strategy to go for. Okay. Yep, yeah, makes sense. You can't fuel at pit stops anymore, you lying game. The stint refers to the laps your driver has done in their current set of tyres. After you complete a pit stop, a new stint entry will be created. This allows you to compare your driver's pace on various different tyres, which can really come in handy. Picking which tyres to change onto a crucial part of any race day strategy. There are a number of different tyres known as compounds. Softer tyres are generally faster and wear quickly too. Intermediate tyres of a light rain or a damp track, and wet tyres of a heavy rain or a very wet track. So... We want slicks, for sure. These tyres are the fastest we can use at the moment, so let's fit a fresh pair. Oh, okay, so it does tell you a lot about them. That's good. So we're changing them onto slick, uh, softs. If you click on the park condition drop down, we can check all the driver's parts are okay. Oh, okay, Jesus Christ, this is so in depth. Each part on your car has in, uh, in his own condition level. This shows you the health of each part. The red area near the end of the bar shows that part's danger zone. If a part enters the danger zone, the highway to the danger zone, if you will, the condition may drop suddenly. If a part's condition reaches zero, it will break down. Okay, so this is maybe a problem. The gearbox looking a bit dodgy. To fix a part, click on the fix part button so that it's be fixed. This will add some condition back to the part when the pit stop happens. This should ha be enough to get your car to the finish line. Okay. Oh god! It added an extra 17 seconds to my pit stop. If you click on the pit strategy drop down, we'll see the pit crew strategy. Your last choice is how fast your pit stop should be. The faster your pit stop, the more chance there is of your pit crew making a mistake, shown by the risk percentage. If the pit crew make a mistake, the car won't break. It will simply add a lot more time to that particular car stop. Pit stop. If you're in a close battle at the top of the leaderboard, it may be worth taking the risk of a quick stop. So apparently we're going safe, because that makes sense. So we had an extra two seconds, oh, four seconds on, Jesus. This panel shows the estimation of how long your pit stop will take and which panel uh, position you're likely to be in when you exit the pit lane. This will be a long pit stop, but it should help us win a few points. Where did it show me that? I'm confused where it told me where I'll come out, to be honest. Um... I guess I'll just take its word for it. Oh, here. Jesus Christ, we'll be 20th after pit stop. Pressing the pit button will confirm your orders and bring the driver in. Okay, I guess we're doing it. Spiffing! The pit icon next to the driver's portrait shows they're now scheduled to head into the pit lane. Okay, this little burn here. Oh, we're in. This panel shows you what's going on in the pit stop, including the progress of your fuel, tyre and condition work. If you see any of these icons, it means your mechanics have made a mistake and the pit stop's going to run slower than planned. Let's hope this one goes off without a hitch. Can I just change this down to one? I want to see what's happening. Oh wow! Look, even the little pit crew comes out. Tires have all been changed. Repairing my gearbox. Taking your time about it. We're good! We moved down 18 positions. 21 second pit stop. Jesus Christ. Look how far behind we are. 
I know what I'm going to do now. I'm going to change everything. I'm going to open the condition tab. Yep, it all got fixed. Nice. Hang on, pause. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I'm meant to, but I'm changing my strategy. Uh, it's gone high, not everything. This one I need to go on medium. Come on, Shurikov, you got a fucking, you got a proper go for this now, kid. You're so far behind. Four other drivers start feeling neglected. Let's check up on them. Check looking at the second times shows us how their laps going. Oh, okay. Each circuit is broken up into three sectors represented by three dots. A white square means they haven't beaten their best time. A green square means they've achieved a new personal best. While purple means they've driven the fastest sector than any other driver on the track. Alongside these sectors, pace shows you how your driver's current lap compares at this point in the lap to their previous best. Okay, so he's not doing so well. The current standings panel... Where's that? Where did like where did that just pop up from? The current standings panel shows your driver's nearest rivals as well as their current sector times lap time, uh, last lap and what tyres they're on. The gap column is key here, and it shows the time you're building. Oh, you're behind the driver ahead, so we're which one are we? We're sharp, so we're one point uh, five seconds behind. I think that means I'm currently in third. Clicking on the top tab will take the camera to the driver ahead. Or onto your driver if they're in first place. Smashing, now let's take the camera back. Okay. Going to sharp. Do you reckon it's because I've done something with the fuel? Do you reckon that's why? It's having a bit of a, a moment, and that's why we're so far behind. See, we recovered our fuel back to 0, 0.00, so we should be fine for fuel. Don't know what Nikolai Shurikov's doing. He's 8.7 seconds behind, so hopefully he just keeps gaining. Mr. Chapman's get got the fastest lap. Yeah, Jesus Christ, he's already 7.7, .7, so he's gaining a second every like quarter of a lap. Sure, I've set his personal best. There's a lot to look at. I'm just going to take a quick pause. I can you can watch it in 2D, I suppose. Yep, typical SI. Like it's a good view. People will probably appreciate this, but I love the graphics, so I'm going to stay on 3D. Like, even look at the detail in these little trees. How good is that? Um, I love the fade as well, uh, as well, away from like my driver. Um, so it shows me the strategy we're employing. Tires are fine on this guy. He's got a bit of excess fuel, so I can probably go back on to high engine mode. Um, uh, this probably shouldn't... Like, we're on high here. When he starts getting near people, I'll put him on overtake, I think. Um, he just says personal best save the time. He's only 6.6 .6 seconds behind now. Condition-wise, I think we're all fine on that front. I haven't got a condition tab over here. Okay, I can only pit with Shurikov. Nice. Uh, red and green flag status. I think we're all good. So Sharp's three seconds behind and Shurikov's six and a half seconds. Let's see how this race plays out. I'm glad I did only put it on 17 laps for the sake of this first impressions video because I feel like we could be here a while. Uh, so I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Okay, maybe I'm not. Ah, okay, so we've got all stand ins and a mini map. I don't know if I can turn them on or if they just appear. But I'm sure we'll find out. The minimap is a corking way of seeing where the rest of the drivers are on the track. Clicking on the different drivers on the minimap will move the camera to them. Makes sense. Look at Shurikov, how far behind he is. Jesus Christ. There's only four seconds, to be fair, from like nine. If you want to see the bigger picture, you better check out the standings widget. Aha, so there's there it. Oh my god. Sponsor target, uh, objective is off target. Oh god. I didn't read that one. The sponsor objective is always a tag position to do your best to meet it. First! Weather forecast rain. Let's check the weather panel to see how bad it's going to get. Oh god. Blue my neck. Looks like there's some rain on the way. What are the chances? Water on track. Seems fine. 
Since the rains are coming, we need to change our driver's tyres to intermediates. Get your driver into the pits and put some intermediates on. Papa manages jobs to react to the weather conditions fit in the most appropriate tyres to the situation you find yourself in. Since it's going to start raining, we should better put on some intermediate tyres. Use wet tyres when there's a lot of water on the track. Okay, so do intermediate. I'll leave the rest of the pit stop up to you. Don't forget to check the car's condition. And if your driver's battling for position, you might change the pitch strategy. Um, in terms of parts, looks fine to me. Pitch strategy. Do we go... Right, we need to get out as quick as we can. Uh... Do you go for the risky one? Or, no, just go for balance. I don't want to mess completely everything up. So that's sharp schedule for a pit, uh, pit stop. Intermediate. Wonderbar. Your driver should soon be on inter intermediate tyres. That'll make a huge difference. You might want to change your second driver's tyres too, but that's up to you. To be fair, Shirakov, you're so far behind. Like, I don't feel like there's a point. One factor which affects the speed of the track is the grip level. When the cars drive, they lay down rubber on the track. If this is high, all of the cars can go a little bit faster. When it rains, however, the rubber is washed away, making the track slower again. Yeah, well, Shurikov's probably going to spin out, so we should probably just watch him. You got to go, son. You're only three and a half behind now. Absolute burners, look at him go. We're going to be battling for position in a second. Uh, Scuderia Rossini have used team orders. Lap 4, 14 laps remaining. Go on, Shurikov. Nice, let's take a little pause. So, yeah, this is good. I love this interface, especially when you're pitting and it shows you in the pits. Like this, this menu system is really well done. I would click data center, but it scares me, so I'm not going to bother you yet. Tires was good. My pit stop was fine, boys. That went splendidly. I probably should have put it on risky, to be fair. But looks like we're in sixth. Did a load of people pit? I feel like a load of people pitted. Or do we just overtake a load of them around that corner? So the exit position was massively up from what we thought it was going to be. So that's good. Oh, oh, looks like we're going to get a bit of contact. Oh. Shurikov's overtaking people. Oh, yeah, someone in the pits. Nice. <laughs> it's this guy who's going to probably overtake him, probably. Shurikov's probably the more entertaining one to watch. He's got a whole race ahead of him. Sharp's in fifth. Go on, Shurikov. Go on, son. I might just conserve a little bit of fuel in a minute. In fact, I might do that now and then just go for it. Is it scheduled to stop raining? It looks like it, doesn't it? It looks like it's scheduled to stop raining. So let's just go medium. Let's just chill. Let's just chill behind them. I'm going to go and push still because we've got plenty of condition left on the tyres. Stretch over here. Uh, with fifth. Where are we in terms of behind people? We're massively behind everyone. So there's no point in pushing again. Let's just go on medium. We can serve fuel and serve tyres. And stay on push though. And then hopefully we can just, when it comes to it, burn through the, the fuel and stuff when it dries up a bit. I'm hoping, for the sake of the tutorial, it doesn't just kick one of my, play my drivers out of the race. Shurikov's a second behind. Sharp's two and a half seconds behind. Jeez, guys, Sharp's actually catching whoever this is. It's very fast. Oh, they're on softs and hards. That's why. Go on, then, Sharp. Go on. He's made the position stick. Take third as well. When you're being held up here, take him. Get round him. Oh, Sparks. Go on, you've got the inside line. Don't mess it up. Oh, he's beautifully done that. Right, now you can start gaining the guy in front. Right, I'm going to take a quick pause and find out what's going on in terms of strategy. Again, we're building up fuel. Like When it comes a few laps time, I'm going to start trying to burn through that. Uh, in terms of race, Jesus, we're massively ahead. 
five seconds behind Holtz in second. Uh, it's very wet on the track. It's scheduled to dry off though, so that's fine. Track grip. See, basically, I need to predict when it's going to stop raining and dry up a bit, so that I can get. I, I don't know if I want to get him back in. I feel like intermediates might be fine for now. The track's only going to go up a little bit. Okay. Oh wow, this like tells you everything. <laughs> Like a proper data center in the F1. You can see the teams and everything. So the minute we're getting beaten by... I'm going to guess that's like Mercedes or someone. Braun. Ex-Braun. Drivers can be delicate souls. It's also useful to see what's affecting their race performance. Hovering above the clipboard will show what's currently impacting them. Where the hell is the clipboard? Aha. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. So let's take a quick pause again. Okay, it's told me I'm pausing anyway. Stonking job so far, the rest of the race is up to you. Have a click around, try and get some points on the board, good luck. Okay, basically what I was doing anyway. So I have paused it. Uh, sharp, three and a half seconds behind Holtz. We're, we're, clo we're closing that gap quite nicely. Shurikov's in 20th. How is he 20th? Is he spun out or something? I swear Woodford was like 11, Woodford was like 11 seconds behind him. He's really struggling, isn't he? Bless him. Right, instead of... We're going to try and conserve the tyres. and use a bit more fuel instead. Because, the way I see it, it's going to dry off soon and these tyres are going to be better. So he's not going to have to come in again. So I want to conserve the condition. Uh, and then just push really hard. This guy... He's going to burn through the tyres quicker. That's fine. So let's go for the high. Try and get Sharp into first. Let's watch Sharp, see how he's doing. Oh god, he's closed the gap on second already. Come on, take him! Dilemma. Nikolai Shurikov, I need to pit for intermediates, boss. We don't, because it's going to stop raining soon. We're stop stopping raining. There's water less water on the track already. So I'm going to ignore you. I know he's massively behind the pace, but hopefully his tyres are going to do alright. Meanwhile, Sharps move up to second. Love that. He closed number one first as well. Big Chapman. Right, so it is currently like overcast. The water's drying up. The track grip's expected to get better soon. I'm hoping the water on the track keeps going down. If we keep watching the bar, it does drop a little bit every now and again. Go on then, Sharp. He's got him. Down on turn one. Go on. Oh, ref. Go on then, Sharp. Right, so in terms of fuel and everything, we're actually alright. Like, we've got a decent amount of fuel left over. Decent amount of tyres. Let's just keep pushing, see how, see how far we can push this lead. And while Sharp goes ahead in first, we've got Shurikov over here. Took a position at last. And now, the water on the track is like nearly gone. So we're going to push this up into neutral. And see what he can do. He slowed down so much then. Sharp has gone to a three second lead already. Let's just speed it up. But it's pretty dry now. Still a little bit damp on the track, but not too bad. As soon as it goes like pretty much dry, I'm gonna whack his tires up onto the next level. My tire deg is really bad. I'm not getting the same performance boost from pushing now. That's off sharp. Okay. Well, let's just leave it on neutral then instead. I mean, we have got. Five second lead at first, so it's no real rush. Go on, Shurikov. Oh, and the track's nearly all gone. We can start pushing positions now. There you go, there's 18th. Nope, better 19th. That position didn't stick at all, did it? Why does the logic and leave me out? Inters, I need to pit. Okay. So, what we're going to do, we're going to push for like a lap on high and medium to conserve a bit of fuel, and then we're going to pit. 
Okay, no, we need to pit like now. Uh, let's get some softs on. Softs will last the rest of the race. Yeah, I feel like we just need to make softs last for the rest of the race. Power condition seems alright. Pit strategy, we're going to go for it. If this goes wrong, ugh. So you can see he is expected to come out between third and uh, second, third and fourth, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Go on then, let's get him in. Shurikov, on the other hand, his tyres are starting to die, so he's actually probably going to need to come in soon as well. Go on then, you can start getting past people. No! Shurikov's not very good, is he? Actually, he's in the pit. Shurikov, I don't even know what to do with you anymore, to be honest. You're so far behind. We're going to need to get you in as well. I'm going to get you in some soft parts. We're all fine. Pit strategy, we need to get you back out. Something went wrong. Bollocks. So Zoe Sharp exits in fifth. Jesus, right. Uh, let's push and go on high there. You need to start conserving fuel. I'm pushing as well. Let's see what we can do. So sure comes in the pit lane. Okay, we're in 20th, but hopefully we can start making that up again. He had a good pit stop. The right driver to have one, but he had a good pit stop. Sharp closing right up on his on his rivals here in fourth. Go ahead and take him. It's a very, very tight little battle going on here. Both a second apart from each other. This is crazy. We move it to third through pit stops alone. Zoe should upset in personal bests. Nikolai Shurikov started taking positions as well, so that's good. Go on, Sharp. Take him. Is he due to pit? I think he's coming in. I think that's what this means. We'll soon find out. There he is. We're up in second. Right, let's have a little pause and see what's happening. So we've got eight laps remaining. Fuel-wise, I need to lay off a bit here. Zoshap has gone back into first, so that's good. Tyres, I'm hoping will last the rest of the race. It's just gone neutral for them. No point in pushing too hard. Strategy-wise here, uh, Shurikov are going to put on overtake. I need him to start pushing through the field. Condition-wise, his parts seem okay. I mean, that looks like the front wing. Just a bit battered. I'm not going to pit for that though. Condition wise over here. We seem alright. I guess let's just go ahead. Alright, so it's, that's Sharp out in front by five seconds. So let's just leave him do what he does. Shurikov, on the other, other hand, needs to start making some positions. We're up to the 14th. Go on, take another one. Go on. No, you're not going to get him around the outside, are you? Take him on the in. Oh no, we've been done. Come on, Shurikov, get that position back. No. Oliveira's set a new fastest lap, um, but Sharp's still improving, so not the worst thing in the world. I'm starting to change through his tyres, boss. Maybe we should start getting easy on them now. Well, Shurikov, you crap, mate, so. Yeah, fight me. Over in this hand, yeah, we're right. Still a 4.3 second gap. I don't need to do anything dodgy. In fact, that gap is closing quite sharply. Excuse the pun. I'm still in 15th. I mean, this isn't ideal. Uh, especially considering how much is burning through the fuel. All right, let's just go back on medium. In fact, I need to go on low, I think. Sure, of course, probably going to finish last. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to get sharp to try and get a bit ahead again. Because the gap's closed to 3.9. Nina Holtz is setting new fastest sector. Shurikovs couldn't make that position stick at all. A panel just came off my front wing. It must be damaged. Balls. Might as well go through the last set of softs then, right? 
And then we're going to go fast again. I need to. I needed to. <laughs> I needed to get him back out there. Let's try and finish anywhere but last. So, right, a second of the quick pause. Oliveira, four seconds behind. Sharp, doing all right. Got enough fuel in the tank. Shurikov started to conserve. So that's good. He's getting some fuel back now. We're well, not getting it back, but he's not burning through it all. Oh, they made a mistake putting the front wing on. Oh, fuming. Okay, so Shurikov's not last somehow. He's seven seconds behind Moreno, though, so I'm going to need him to go on medium. Uh, and we might as well just push with these tyres now. The track on the uh, the grip on the track is going up. There's no, it's dry completely. Not expected to rain at all, so that's good. Uh, strategy, uh, tires over here are a problem. I might just get him to push and get him back in again. I feel like that might be a good idea. We open up a bigger gap. I like just keep going up and up and up, and then we'll pit in a second. Right, let's get him back in. Just so six second lead. I kind of want to fix the front wing and the brakes, but eh. Like, I don't want to ruin this race. Then we go balanced, like we can afford a five second pit stop. We should come out in front still. Shut sure. Right, this is a dangerous choice, I feel. So, have we got anything? No? No? Both fine, doing their, doing their thing. Alright, we've got a 6.2 second gap. Someone just fell off. I'm going to ignore you and just hope that we can get to the end of the race. Sharp's having a 6.4 second gap. He's going to come in the second, so... I need him to just keep pushing, basically. We've got medium fuel strategy, which means we're probably going to start losing a little bit of pace, but here we come into the pits. Yep, good change. Good, good, good. Get back out. And then you need to just go. Four laps remaining. We're out in fourth at the minute. We'll take a little pause. Shurikov's actually still in 19th, but he's quite close to the rest of the, the lineup. Um, I think that's the one I'm just leave him on. He's completely out of this race. <laughs> Sharp up in fourth. Trying to take on Lippinen. So 0.8 second gap. Use your DRS. I'm not even sure if it's in the game. Go on then. Oh, this gap is so close. Oh, he made a mistake there. I might need to use. Yeah, let's get him. Let's get him on high engine mode as well. You need to just go sharp. Those are going to lose this race. Tire stamps feeling really high, guys. Not feeling the same boost and pushing anymore. Okay, so let's just not push. Shivakov, see if he can gain any positions. Is there a problem with the rear wing? Probably. Yep. 30%. Nice. Ignore it. We're fine. We've got two laps to go. Come on, Sharp. I feel I'm going through these tyres like a fat guy goes through hot dogs. That's true, but you've got 81% condition left and you've got two laps to do, so shut up. Let's get him on overtake strategy. We need to push. No, I feel like... We're going to run out of fuel soon. Yeah, we're just going to need to conserve. I think we've got fourth. Okay, so one thing I've just noticed is this thing here, this dot and this little cone thing. It's me. Look at this. It's me on the camera. So I can see where I am. How cool is that? That's amazing. That is a really, really cool feature. So... Last real look at the race before we um, before we finish. Looks like Shurikov's going to finish in 17th. He's battling someone though, so maybe if I put Overtake on, it's going to work. We'll, we'll push him again. And oh, no, actually, it's not. Look at how hot his tyres are, <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Um, and then over here, Sharp's pretty much got fourth logged in. There's no point in pushing anymore. Go on, Shurikov. Let's gain some positions.
Oh no. So I hit the other side of the wing. It's the last lap. Uh, I'm going to have to watch Joey Sharp now. <laughs> Do not retire. feel like I need to fix some of my parts. Shut up, we've still got a lap left. Yeah, go on then. He's still pushing for the win. What a boy. Shurikov in 17th. Big sharp. Final lap. Go on, take third. Take him. Is that a checkered flag yet? Fourth, we've got Shurikov on the other side of the track. Can he take any positions? Or are we just going to finish the 17th? Oh. Go on. Oh, no. Oh, no. He tried to take position and lost two. Great. And that's where he's going to end, so. 18th and 4th? I mean. It's not the worst thing in the world. There's 20 coming around. There it is. It's over. So, Oliveira won. Um, obviously, it wasn't my driver for Windsor Racing. Overall, we did all right. We did all right. So, now the race is finished, we get given a screen with everyone's tyres. So, there was only two of us that actually went in to, uh, for intermediates. Jesus Christ, one of my drivers made three stops, and he was the only one in, top, in the whole race, apart from Woodford and Schmidt, who both also made three stops. That's insane. So, I feel like my pitch strategy wasn't great. These guys made their tyres last like proper. Uh, position tracker. Sharp. Moved up to first for a bit. And then we finished in fourth. Not bad. Because when we started fifth. Uh, wow, look at Chapman. So he's first. And then he was second. And then he was 20th. What happened, Harry? What happened? This is cool. This is actually really cool, though. Uh, we can see Shurikov as well. Where's Shurikov finish? There he is, look. So he start. Well, it reckons he started there. Oh, we can just go back in the laps. Okay, okay, I get it now. Okay, that's cool. Low timings. Uh, who had the fastest first sector? 122.08058, I think it's the fastest. Yeah, 058 was Schmidt. And did he have his fastest middle sector as well? He did. He just needs to sort out his final sector. No, it was fast as well. What? Fastest lap, 157.331. Oh, mine was 157.333. 157018. Holt absolutely smashed it, to be fair. Jeez. So yeah, it looks like uh, we got absolutely battered. <laughs> Can you sort these? No, you can't. Okay. Tire selection. Yep. Yep. Okay. Commentary feed. Nice. Tells you everything about the race. Standings. We got 12 points. And that's it. Really. Event results. Means we moved up two positions from the start. Is that what that means? Three stops. Not, uh, five seconds behind the leader. So that's basically one of my pit stops. Um, big gap. No penalties. 12 points. Nice. So, so you can look through the practice and the qualifying results as well. Okay. That's cool. Let's continue. Scrutineering complete. We didn't break any rules. Beautiful. Continue. There's the race confirmation. Did anyone get penalised? No. Oh, we might have had a cheater or two, boys. In the driver's championship, Zoe Sharp in fourth. 
13 points behind the leader. Panther race team in third out of 10. At least we're not Thornton Motorsport. We didn't get a single point. Get wrecked. And now we're on to the media and the messages. So, media, post ra ra uh, race reaction. Oliveira blitzes the opposition. True. Oh my god, just got tickets to the Panther Race Team HQ. Best birthday ever. Big Molly Mulrooney. Happy as Larry. Aki Lippinen. Really good result of Doha today. But we need to keep pushing for a win. True. Saranen. Points me prizes, but I want wins. Hashtag even high. It's cool that the drivers are on your social feed as well. And then Jonathan Straith is loving me. He's a, he's a big fan, I think. So that's cool. And then I guess we're into the day-to-day -day running of the team. But the stereo volume mirrors. Oh, it is currently saving. Nice. Back home, welcome to the base of operations. This way you'll develop your car, sign new drivers, and manage everything that goes into your efforts for the race weekend. So we're just going to take a brief look through everything here. Uh, the key people shows an overview of your drivers as well as your chairman's happiness level. You can roll over your driver's icon to see an overview of their stats, so that's not working right now. If the chairman's happiness reaches rock bottom, you might find yourself out of a job. Keep your chairman happy. On the other hand, you may have a little more money to spend. So that's good. The graph shows where your team stands in relation to the rest of the teams in the championship. If a bar reaches the top of the graph, it means your best team is the best in the area. In that area. Getting these bars up to the top is not everything, but will give you the best chance of success come race day. Here you can see a glimpse, I get a glimpse of which race is coming up next. You can also check the current standings. Most of all teams compete on two fronts, the drivers and the teams. Yeah, I knew this. The team championship is where your prize money comes from at the end of the season, so it's arguably more important than the driver's championship. For more detailed information on standings and the calendar, check out the standings screen. This panel shows you what works going on around the team. It's empty. I think we're going to have to do something about that. Okay. Continue button is flipping important. Clicking on it will take you to unread mails or items around the team which need urgent attention. Let's give it a try. Mail screen. This is where you'll find out what your team has been up to as well as being updated on what's happening around the paddock. You'll also often receive mail from journalists who want your opinion on current events. You can also use these buttons up here to move up and down your inbox. You can also click on the mails themselves directly. Developing your car is one of the most... Oh, I didn't even see all these menu buttons at the bottom here. Developing your car is one of the most important things of being a manager. Let's head over to the car and see what we can improve. Pretty, ain't it? It certainly is. The car is rated in two different ways. First, we have your car stats, which change every time you build a new part or develop your car. Yep, I see that. Your car is ranked on six different stats. Top speed, acceleration, deceleration, low, medium and high speed corners. You can also see your overall ranking of the car. Getting those bars to the top is the name of the game. Okay, so our top speed is pants. The chassis stats and suppliers is decided at the end of each race, uh, end of each season where you get to dictate and the look and feel of your car. You don't have to worry about that for a good few months though. Designing new parts for your car makes a difference between an average team and a good one, and we want to be the best. So let's design a new part. You have the choice between six parts, each of which impact a different stat on the car. Makes sense, I guess. If one of your parts is lagging behind the rest, maybe it's time to build a new one. Each race favours a different favors different stats. You can see which parts are going to be useful. To, they're crucial to the next race. Developing these parts should give you the upper hand come race day. So given that this part is crucial to the next race, I think the building is a new one is a good idea. So we're going to build some new brakes, apparently. 500 grand, five days, nice. Each part essentially boils down to two elements, performance, high speed corners, how good that part is at its job, and reliability, how long it will last in the race. Lead designers have stats for each part, which are added to each part's starting performance value. Okay. Better your staff, the better they make them, basically. Each part also has a maximum performance level, the second number, so 963. This number is defined by the improvability of your car, which is a chassis stat, see in the car screen. 
You can then improve the performance of your parts in part development, which we'll talk about later. Likewise, each part has a max reliability too, so that's 100%. This is a slot which gets filled with components, the building blocks of any parts. Take a look at them. Right, here we are, a lovely assortment of components. When you add one to a slot, it will boost your car's stats. As you're making the first part of the season, you can only currently access average parts. So a lot more powerful set is simply build another part of this type. The components in this column are specific to designers. They cost no money and add no time to the part build. If your designer leaves, they'll take their components with them. On the other hand, signing a new designer might come in handy. Some components can increase the risk of you breaking rules. These are usually very powerful components. If you go for a risky component, there's a chance you'll get away with it. Scrutineering, which comes after the race, defines whether or not you get caught. Sometimes bending the rules can be worth it. I suppose if it came down to like the last race or something, it would work well. Okay, so now it's time to make your choice. Select one of the components to continue. Um, should we maybe break the rules a little bit? Let's do it. Good choice, the slot has been filled. As you've added a component to the part, its level has improved too. So it's now an average break. And the stats have been updated to reflect any of your choices. So that's, that was 963 max before. Now it's the base. Okay, it's decent. Reliability is still 40%. You can now see good components which you'll be able to use when you build your next part of this type. When you build a third part, you'll unlock great components and so on. Okay, so that's good. The build time and cost have been updated too. 550 grand. We've got time. Build the part. This pop up will let you know when you're receiving or sending money. If you'd like to get a full breakdown of your current financial situation, you can always get to the finance screen. Nice, let's build them. Oh, it hurts. That's a lot of money. Well, who? We're designing a new part, but it's going to take a few days. Continue. Cool. So is that done? Huzzah! This guy's really cringeworthy. Huzzah! We've finished building the new parts that's fitted to one of our cars. Well here we are. The place you decide which parts you take into the race. Oh my god. Let's check out which parts are available. I suppose this one will tell you as well, mate. This list shows you all the parts in your factory. As you add more, the list is going to get pretty hefty. You can see the current performance and condition levels of every part. In the case which part is fit to which driver, makes sense. Let's get this lovely new part fit onto car one. You can also fit parts by clicking on these buttons if the mood to takes you. This is the beautiful new part. This graph is a great way to compare drivers' cars. The purple coloured area first car one, the orange by car two. Can't see orange, so I'm gonna guess that's pink is the combination of the two. Let's have a look at the reliability graph. Yeah, there is that. So orange cars better on brakes condition wise, right? Cause those sharps is like here. I think. But it's also got better rear wing. You can check what your drivers are thinking about up here. Delighted, content. Nice. So that's how you fit parts to your car. I don't think I need to do anything else. I've got some mails. Someone's found God. Okay. So that's focus and morale. Not bad, to be fair. Is he, hang on. Has he only found God for 19 weeks? Is that what it's saying there? Invite to a stock car race. What plus one braking, plus five marketability. Yoga hammers are next. We could upgrade the wind tunnel. So basically, there is a lot. <coughs> and I mean a lot of stuff you can do. Sponsors. Yep. You can hit certain targets, get sponsors, that's great. You can have six slots. 
Okay, did I actually show up on your car? Oh my god, that's so cool. Let's have a look. I want to just put some on. Shut up. Yeah, so they give you money all the time. They only give you money when you hit targets. Marketabilities, how attractive your team is to sponsors. It is comprised of your team's standing and their two drivers. Marketability. If you have a pair of unmarketable drivers, you're going to have a time, hard time picking up top sponsors. Makes sense. Deciding which sponsor offer to go for, keep your eye for certain things. If you want some money fast, keep an eye on the amount that the sponsor are offering up front. On the other hand, if you want to score a more lucrative sponsor bonus, often linked to how difficult the bonuses are to achieve. You can even pick up a sponsor with easy bonuses if you find them difficult to achieve over the race weekend. Well, now you know your way around the world's sponsorship. Yep, nice. Can I put them on the car? Look at this. This is so cool. It actually puts them on the car. Brutus at the back. Where are we putting this one? Alright, so we get 500 grand, then 500 per race. 700 grand, or 300 per race. So that's what? 3 million, or well over 5 million. Or 4 million straight up front. So what's this? 7.5 million at that one. I think I have Hypertech. I don't feel like I need the money instantly. Let's have a look, where did it put it? Uh just dropped it here. <laughs> Race bonuses. Title position eleventh. We get nine hundred grand and two hundred grand for both qualifying and race. Oh wow, you get a home race bonus? That's really cool. We're gonna go for Golden Tiger Bank, because it looks like the easiest to do. Yep, nice put it on the side of my car. This is so cool. I love this. I suppose people have made mods where you... Um, I'm going to put second and above on this one. Uh, people have made mods with real sponsors. So that makes like even cooler. Imagine having like a Nike sponsor and stuff on your car. I know they probably don't sponsor F1 cars, but... Whatever. Uh, sixth and above. Easiest one to get for me. Love it. We're rolling in the dough. In case you're wondering, I'm probably not going to carry this career on, so I'm just checking out to see what we've got going on. I'm going to check all the other screens now. So your finances, per race, year-to-date costs, makes sense. Set budget of next year's car, nice. Uh, you can see where you've been here. This is cool. Chairman is Lana Kendrick. Scouting, I can get new staff. Yeah, I'm too fair, mate. I'm not really bothered about looking through all this. Feels really useful, yeah, imagine so. Sort them, yeah, get that as well. Cool. There are different ability levels, but you have to scout them. Whatever. Nice. Staff. So we've got our lead designer, race mechanic, race mechanic. I don't know if I can get any more than that, but I could swap them. We've had a, lot, we've had a long time together, me and Tom Van Zanten. Okay, tell us how much it costs to break their contract. How long the contract's left. That's cool. Oh, okay, Rachel Adams is pretty good, turns out. Drivers. You can see more about my drivers. Oh, is Zoe Sharp a woman? Have I been calling it a man all this entire time? I just thought it was one of them people who's. I don't know. I don't offend anyone. Here you can see all your drivers and some basic information, yep. Yeah. Where they are in the championship, points, form, podiums, out qualifying, out race. So out of all of them, Zoe Sharp is much better than Nikolai Surikov. Driver's contract data is very important to your spending, so I could break their contracts. It's going to cost a lot to break contracts though. Uh, we've got Camille Piaget. Reserve driver, nice. Promote them for one or two. Let's see more about the drivers. Let's have a look, quick look. Oh my god. So is the basic information, nationality, age, overall ability. His favourite is driver. So then I've got stats, pretty much 20 like the rest of their games. They got traits. So he's spoiled, which isn't a good thing. 
They say about the contract's morale is down. Okay, so that's cool. Drive mechanic. Tom Van Zanten. What's this bit? Oh, okay. After a certain amount of time together, I presume that's what this is. So soon your car conditional drops slightly slower, that's cool. Marketability, yep. Yeah. Cool, he's not very marketable, he's crap. Qualifying race points, awesome. So they're scouted, you can compare the two drivers. So we've got a lot of stuff you can look at there. Team gives us a whole overview. HQ, oh my god. So you can improve everything here, I guess. Yep. I could upgrade my wind tunnel, upgrade the factory. These are the ones I currently have, I can see whether or not to upgrade them. Holy hell, it's a lot of money. New buildings. Let's have a look. What can we build? I don't want a scouting facility. I want a theme park. That's cool. Helipad? I'm not sure that's the best use of my money, to be honest. Telemetry centre, there we go. Let's just, for the sake of it, let's just build a simulator. The improve, increases the rear wing unlocks. Driver consistency improve rate goes up one. Driver, ability, uh, driver ability, adaptability improvement rate goes up by one. Nice, yeah, we've got plenty of money, whatever. Okay, that is so cool. I actually love the graphics in this game. Where's my wind tunnel? There it is, look. <laughs> That's insane. So now we've upgraded the front wing. That's awesome. What else can we do? Car. Fit parts, improved parts. Edit livery. Livery, livery. Don't know how to pronounce that. Male player. Tells me about me. I can go get a job elsewhere. I'm not very good at everything. And I think that about sums it up. You can literally... There's so much in-depth stuff you can do on this game. It is insane. Um, I very much look forward to playing this. This is my first look around the game. So, apologies if I've skipped over things that I've maybe understood. Or, do you know what I mean? I, I've just gone through how I found the tutorial at least. Um, we'll continue to see if it gives us any other help. I doubt it will. Yeah, see, we've got our first race coming up. Uh, we've travelled to Yakama. I'm not actually going to continue with this. But overall, this looks like it's going to be a big time sink for me, and I'm going to waste a lot of time on it. Uh, especially considering when I start a new team, or there's loads of mods, and just, yeah, everything overall has surprised me. Uh, I figured it would be a good game, because I'm... I'm not a massive fan of F1, but I do enjoy watching the odd race. Um, but yeah, it's definitely surpassed my expectations. Considering I picked it up in the Steam Summer Sale, I cannot complain at all. Uh, I'll let you know if I'm going to be doing any other videos on this uh, on this game. Uh, but chances are I will be. So overall, I'm going to say this game's... Like well past my expectations. I'm definitely going to be playing it in the future. So it's good. I will thank you all very much for watching. And I'll hopefully see you next time with a different first look. Peace.